um it's well goth day so i thought i'd make a video um doing the goth tag because well goth day and why not you know every other youtube goth's done it i might as well um i do tend to class more as a like a like a high class halloween decoration nowadays um i do still really love goth music and the style and i go i still do very goth makeup i guess it's still in that vein but in general i'm more like the kind of halloween decoration you walk past in tk maxx and be like i'm fucking having that so but yeah i thought i'd do the goth tag um the first question is how long have you been a goth and i would say like properly goth would be like eight years now since i was 20 um before that i was still alternative but it i kind of had struggled a lot with being like a plus size girl and wanting to be dressed goth and thinking it wouldn't suit me um i'll get into that later there's like other questions that will bring that up but yeah i'll tell you roughly but like about eight eight nine years now um how were you introduced to goth um properly i guess my music teacher in year seven saw me and went you look like someone who'd like robert smith and i was like show me this human and he did and then i was in love with him and i thought he was the most beautiful human and before that i was obsessed with alice cooper which isn't goth but like that was sort of always there in the background like alice cooper was there as an influence so um, properly it was with robert smith and then looking into music from there um what gothic subgenre would you put yourself in um there used to be these pictures going on the internet and I guess mopey goth kind of suited my style most. Nowadays, as I say, it's more Halloween decoration. But um, the mopey goth sort of like flowy black clothes and sort of looking a bit grumpy is <laughs> still pretty accurate. Um, but I like, I really like the romantic goth style and the trad goth makeup is my favourite style of goth makeup. Um, so I just like different different little bits and bobs here and there um what do you believe the basis of the gothic subculture music is there's no doubt about it it's the music's the the where it it lives because before then i feel like you you can dress in all dark clothing and like you know spooky stuff but before then you're just sort of quirky and alternative and i mean like emos like dark dark clothes um, I know people who like perfectly normal bands and dress black, but you wouldn't ex call them, a, you know, a goth. But, yeah, so I think the music is what defines it as goth, because otherwise you're just alternative, which is perfectly fine. You can be alternative. You don't have to like goth music. You don't have to be a goth, but, like, to be goth, I think the music is the baseline. Um, what do you dislike about being goth? I dislike that people assume that I don't know it's not Halloween yet when if anyone knows if it's Halloween or not it's me I'm counting the days it's not here yet um what do your parents think of it my mum was the most supportive of it like you would not believe she was always like oh my little baby bat and I was like you know, she didn't like me dressing in black when I was younger because she didn't think that young kids should be wearing black. But she didn't dislike what I liked. I mean, she was always very encouraging to me, like in bats. She bought me, when I was like a wee little whipsnapper, Teddy, like the beanie buddy bat that I've still got. Um, and she, she never had a problem with it, really. And my dad's pretty good. He's the one who introduced me to Alice Cooper as a child. Um, and he's cool. He comes to Whitby and he likes having the black makeup and stuff done to be spooky to people. And he's got um, like a cane with a skull and a bat on top called um, Barry, Paul and Barry, like the Chuck Brothers. So he's pretty supportive. My parents are great. Um, eyebrows and eyebrows. I have no eyebrows. I've recently started, not so recently, whenever I do this makeup, I have to do this. And I like keep a distance because it doesn't look good up close. I can't do them even because I've got a wonky, I think we've all got kind of monkey faces. I prefer no eyebrows because then I could do all the makeup. Um, what's your favourite band? the cure in it robert smith is just such a beautiful creature so it's always been the cure 
Um, but I like other bands, not just goth bands. Um, my favourite favorite all time band aren't together anymore, and that's the Defiled, and they're not a goth band. Um, I love the Birthday Massacre, which I think a lot of goths do like the Birthday Massacre. But um, she passed away. My favourite newer goth band. They're really good. I've seen them, and they were amazing. But yeah, the Cure are just just the best. Uh, opinion on Marilyn Manson? I quite like some of his music. I think I think he's a bit of a struggle bus person. Um, I don't want to say too much because people have such funny opinions. Let's say I don't hate his music. I liked it quite a lot. I used to have a friend in school who was like, obsessed with them, and because because they were obsessed, you get like second hand. Every time you hear something, you get like, oh, it reminds me of this person. So it's kind of like I've got like a little bit of nostalgia for him as well. And I used to have a weird recurring dream about him walk, coming in through my window and wanting to have a sleepover, but that's, you know. And what were your baby bat days like? Um, when I was a baby bat, I was obsessed with the singer Mika. I used to like wearing bright colours, but still these panda eyes. And at the time, everyone only ever wore bright orange foundation. So the second that I was allowed to start wearing makeup officially... Cause I wasn't really meant to wear makeup because my mum was like, You're too young for makeup, which is fine. She, I, like, I agree as an adult, I understand where she was coming from. As a child, I was like, No, and I used to like sneak an eyeliner to my friend's house and do it every morning. But, um, yeah, um, so I was very into bright, like, I guess it would have been like kind of like the scene kid thing. And then, like, oh, I guess I must have been 18 ish. I saw a band called Cowder Pavonis and I've got, I just listened, look them up. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of their music. It's amazing. I saw this woman come on stage and she's this beautiful plus size woman who's, she looked like long dreadlocks and like she just looked amazing and she had this corset and big bustly skirt and I was just blown away. I was just like, she's she's plus size but she looks amazing in this goth style and I, I like I went up to her afterwards and I was just like I'm, I cannot cope you were so good you're so amazing and I was like how did you manage to like find clothes like that and she was like well, I've made them and I and she was just like you can find stuff though and like this this person she was really good and really nice and spoke to me afterwards and um and after that like it was kind of like a year of me sort of getting learning how to do makeup properly and getting the like confidence to um wear the stuff out and stuff and like for a while it, it did take a while for me to feel comfortable fully doing what I wanted to do and then even like nowadays I don't have any worries I don't feel any shame or anything dress now I want I think there's a lot worse things to be than a bigger person but, like, she really helped my confidence. And I think everyone needs someone at the... Even nowadays, you still need, like, people to, like... Once you've got that style, you need people to be like, Yes, you look amazing, you're so cool, and all that. And we all need sort of, like, um, like help with that. But I, I like... I like the idea that someone will see me being a plus-size person dressed like this and be like, I want that. I want that in my life. Because I know, as a baby bat... Me, I would love me now. I'd be like very happy about that. But yeah, so that's all the questions on the goth tag. So if you have any other questions, you can ask and I will answer. But um, I hope you will have a beautiful goth day. May your eyeliner be blacker than a bat's nostril. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye.